Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm Valeria and today's bigger card reading is all about what do their friends think about you? So I'm going to put up all the options on the screen right now so you can make your pick and you'll find all the timestamps in the description box below. Hey group one, so I'm going to get started with your reading. So what do their friends think of you? Okay, I'm seeing like... Um, there are multiple different energies coming through and that makes sense because not every friend will have the same idea about you uh, but uh, just bear with me because I'm feeling that you will not like what one type of friend actually thinks of you. So I'll go with the good energy first with the grounding card over here. Some of this person's friends think that you are very stable, very grounded, maybe a little bit boring, but all around a nice person, a humble person. And yeah, but they do find you a little bit boring. So I don't know who this person is, but it it might be just because you're very practical. You could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You don't have to be, but uh, your practicality tends to go against their nature the, the, these friends whose energy is coming through so they might be very impulsive they might be a little bit too brash and you might be a little bit soft-spoken or you might like to put your words together you like to not hog the entire conversation or something i don't know uh, take what resonates because not everything will apply to everyone but that's what's coming through with the grounding card over here for the most part these friends uh, whoever is energy is coming through with this card they think that you are a nice person, a humble person, okay? But then there's this other group of friends or maybe one or two people. Yeah, these people are interested in you. Uh, some of these people are interested in you sexually. And uh, they might even fantasize about you. And some... Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know. You probably know who this person is. Maybe not all of you, but... At least there's one person who's interested in you and uh, this person uh, wants to win you, okay? So if it comes to stabbing their friend to get you, they might be okay with doing that as well. So anyway, take what resonates with you. But for the most part, uh, there's this other group of friends who think you're very interesting and very bold. But again, they are more focused on your uh, physical appearance okay and uh, also yeah with the number 18 standing out to me hmm 18 is the number of the moon card in the tarot okay some of these people don't really know you that well you probably have not met them so many times okay so they have uh, come up with their own conclusions about you maybe these are stereotypes based on who you are especially if your culture is like stereotyped by the rest of the world as oh these people are very very brash very colorful very bold whether you're mexican whether you're indian you know so oh these people will be uh, they're very open-minded they like to sleep around this that like say you're a white person and you go to say an Asian country and the people from the Asian country have that kind of a perception of you okay so again take what resonates with you but yeah so there are some stereotypes mixed in over here as well okay now yeah uh, a lot of these people do think that you're very good looking with the attractive card over here um yeah and they they approve of this connection mainly because you're good looking so most likely you you haven't really interacted with these friends so much because I'm not I'm not getting a very deep energy here. These people don't really know you that well. Okay, now with the energy and the desire over here, yeah, yeah, there definitely is someone who's like very sexually attracted to you in this friend circle. They would like to sleep with you, like literally. I can't get any more blunter than that. Okay, um. I mean, if you're okay with that, that is on you because I don't know who you're thinking about. Some of you might be thinking about what your boyfriend or your girlfriend's friends think of you. But for others, you might be asking about like, you know, you made a new friend and you asking how do their friends think of me? So take what resonates. Okay. So you might be okay with this. Some of you at least. So group number one, that is all I'm getting for you today. Um, I hope you like this reading. If you would like to book a person reading with me, You'll find the link to my booking page 
in the description box below. Hey group two, so I'm gonna get started with your reading right away. So what do their friends think of you, the person on your mind? All right, ooh, ooh. You got trust, you got success, you also have victory. These people have a very good opinion of you. Some of these people think you're very trustworthy. Others of them think that they trust that you will get really far in life, that you will one way or the other be crowned victorious in the sense that you will make it. Maybe you are a mu musician. I'm like uh, picking that up specifically. So only take this if this resonates. So you might be a musician and stuff and they have heard you play or something. And through your personality and the way you practice and this and that, they just know that, you know, you would go really far in life. But again, even if you're not a musician, this still applies to you. A lot of these friends have a very high opinion of you. Some of you might already be successful. So they already know it. And they think that they trust that you are just going to keep going, keep going, keep doing even better in your life. Now with the victory card, I'm, I'm saying specifically that a lot of these people want to come along with you. They would like to stay friends with you too. They would like to get to know you more because it is like a win-win situation for everybody. And to be honest, like there are people who think like that, who will be like, oh, how can I, oh, I, I know this person who is doing quite well. So maybe if I need a job, I can give them a call and ask them if they can, you know, uh, set me up with something. Uh, so I, it's not really a wrong thing to network that way, okay? So just be mindful of the people who like to ride on others' coattails. But for the most part, I am picking up that these people might also be very similar to you, okay? So that's why they're able to see it clearly that you're going to go very, very far. Okay, now with trust over here, some of you literally are very, very trustworthy or this is how they see you. So maybe some of these people have like, uh, even on the first few meetings with you, they felt that you're a very good listener and you have very, you're very compassionate or you are very open okay and no not open sorry uh, you're very uh, actually no i i understand why i said the word open you are not open but they perceived you to be open because they themselves were opening up so much to you so they felt that uh, why else would they be opening up to someone if that person wasn't also similar I mean, I can't explain this any, I don't know how to explain this any better than this. But yeah, so some of you, you were not being as open as they think you were. Maybe most of you were not even sharing that much about your own life. But because your being around you gave them a very safe energy and a lot of these people might have said a lot of things about their own lives to you, they think that you are trustworthy, okay? So it's like a logical fallacy I'm going to end it at that because uh, I don't know how else to like explain it. Okay. Okay. Now also with the success card and the victory card, they really want you, if, especially if you're asking, if you're thinking about a person you are in a relationship with and you're asking what their friends think of you, their friends want this to be a successful relationship. They want the two of you to get together and they might even see you as the queen to their king or the king to their queen or however you apply it to your gender situation. Okay. Now, I keep coming back to the success card because I am feeling that these friends are very happy to get to know you because again, it adds value to their own network to get to know somebody like you. And if they know you, they can network with you to get something or uh, get a call somewhere else and this, that. So again, if it's a win-win situation for everybody, there's no harm in that. But again, be careful of the coattail riders because there'll always be one, of the, one or two of those in every group, okay? Now, with stimulation over here, they also think that, uh, yeah, okay. Some of you are very, very good looking with the attractive card over here. Now, whether you believe that or not is a different story or it could just be that this is a YouTube reading, so a lot of people watch it. So if you don't think that you're very good looking, don't take this message, take the other messages, okay? But for those of you who do know that you're very, very good looking, yeah, they do think you're good looking, okay? And they sometimes they even get hypnotized by it. Like hypnotized is the only way I can describe it because they find themselves just listening to you and staring at you. Maybe your hair, maybe um, your clothes, maybe the way you speak, whatever. But 
they find you very attractive especially the way you speak so regardless of whether you think you're beautiful or not all of these people they think you are a good communicator with stimulation you might even be very good at jokes or like you might be humorous in some way okay and uh, there's there's like when you speak it's very interesting it's it's intellectually stimulating that's the way it is coming through okay one minute also with the stimulation card over here yeah you are able to like uh, take con it's like when people speak to you the conversation does not just end okay after like uh, a few lines okay because you are able to keep the conversation going so you will ask the right questions you will uh, hear what the other person is saying and say oh oh about that okay i heard something like this and that and you will keep the conversation going and sometimes you'll connect dots to a different topic and then the conversation keeps flowing and flowing and flowing and it's just interesting to you know like just engage with you that's the main energy that is coming through i'll pull one last card yeah i don't need to pull any more cards for you with the happiness card over here especially if you me you have like interacted with these people very recently these people are very happy to have met you you also have a very positive disposition you might have a smile on your face all the time and they really really enjoy that okay but anyway group two that is all i've got for you today i hope you enjoyed the reading now if you want to book a personal reading with me you'll find the link to my booking page in the description box below hey group number three so i'm gonna get started with your reading all right so what do their friends think of you the person on your mind Hmm. Hmm. I'm getting the feeling that the friends have not really made up their mind about you. They are still thinking what they actually cons. I mean, think of you. Oh, hope. Okay, we have got the hope card here. Some of these friends think that you're very optimistic and you have got very good energy. Okay, so. they like hanging out with you but they also some of these people might be pessimistic so they might be on the opposite end some not all of them and they are they might think that you are a little bit naive or you might be young or they might think you are immature but again that is their perspective you know your life better than them okay especially if you if these people have not even made up their mind about you that means that they don't know you that well they have not interacted with you as much to like arrive at these conclusions okay so always remember that now with the hope card over here a lot of these people do like your presence a lot you're very you you've got this bright energy about you like you just bring light wherever you go okay like you walk into a room and immediately it's like people can feel the shift in the energy even if you're not saying anything even if you're not trying to hog the entire you know room's attention or stuff like that okay you might even be like peacefully walking into a into a space but still everybody can feel there's like a shift in the air okay so now let me look at a few more cards that have come out okay we have got victory in reverse we have got productivity and we also have gratitude okay so all right hmm yeah so some of these people uh, don't really think you'll go very far in life again these are prejudices most likely because who thinks like that so uh, coupled with so it might be those people who think that you're too optimistic and the ones who are pessimistic themselves right uh, so that could be it okay but also i'm seeing that because uh, some of these people think that it'll take you a very long time to actually accomplish what you want to accomplish because maybe you are young according to them again okay so they think that right now you are trying to put in a lot of effort and stuff but maybe it will take you a long time to actually accomplish it because you are still young so that is their belief and finally with the gratitude card over here um they yeah this uh they might even said it to you some of these people but uh, they really liked you know having a conversation with you sitting and chatting with you like it's like your energy is very nice okay so it's like the way you look at the world it's it's it brings people hope okay especially if you're you're the kind of person instead of cribbing about the problems endlessly you're the kind of person who tries to find a solution and if not find a solution at least think about what could be the possible solution so it's like the people who tend to be a little bit miserable don't like your company so much or they might think you're naive but again like i said 
that is their perspective that is their stereotype i don't think these people know you that well okay so let's get a few more card cards but like i said earlier these people have not they don't know you that well they haven't made up their mind about you and some of these people are waiting to find out if you will even last in their life especially if you're asking about like a romantic person that you're interested in because this person might have a lot of romantic partners who come and go okay so like they don't want to really make up their mind about you because what if after a few months you are no longer there like you break up or something okay so take this if it resonates but it can also apply to a situation where like you know uh your work colleague has introduced you to some other people from their life but then they are like kind of be kind of a little bit lukewarm because again they don't know whether you're going to stay whether you're going to go so now <laughs> apply to your situation as it fits okay okay all right yeah tranquility is over here once again it's like whenever these people think about you it brings them a lot of tranquility they do not realize this they don't probably don't even know that it's because of your energy because like i said sometimes you'll walk into a room there'll be a change in the energy in that room even though you're not trying to hog all the attention and stuff like you might not you might not even be like walking in suddenly there's a splash and everybody's turning around and looking at you it might not even be like that but you walk in there's a shift in the energy okay now with courage over here um you have a lot of bold ideas that's what's coming through especially like again i'm getting that energy of somebody who's like more on the pessimistic side who thinks you are immature and you're like oh yeah this kid has a lot of good ideas you may not be a kid but they are thinking of you that way that this kid has a lot of good ideas and this and that but this is not how the world works yeah what the fuck do they know like uh do they not realize how quickly things are advancing uh i mean with that mentality humans human beings would still be living in mud huts basically but that is not the case like just look around you so again like i said these people do not know you that well and they may think that you are very bold and courageous and stuff but again you'll go fall flat on your face when reality strikes you but i think they are the ones who are not in touch with reality okay so um so i'll just close your reading with this last card yeah so when you just when they think about you it makes them like feel at peace because you're not like a very hostile person so that is the main energy that i'm getting over here okay also with memory they do remember you so like um regardless of anything whether you hogged the conversation or not people remember you because of your energy okay so I'll end your reading at this point, group number three. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you'll find the link to my booking page in the description box below.